Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up GCC on your Windows machine so you can compile using your command prompt C files. The process is actually pretty simple. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. I've seen so many different ways on the, on the internet, and over the years, I've tried a lot of them. This, by far, for me, has been the simplest and I'll say foolproof method so far. And this is the current one that I am using. So first of all, you, and there's two things we need to realistically download. The actual thing that we'll be using to compile, which is called MSYS2. I'll provide a link to everything in the description, plus also some sort of text editor. You could obviously always go old school and use notepad, not recommended. I'm gonna use Sublime Text, and that's what I recommend. So let me just show you where you can get that from. So if you just go to sublime text, sublime text, and go to the website, just sublimetext.com. I'll provide a link in the description, go to download, and just open the exe and install it. It's really simple. And this will give us a text editor. If you have another preferred text editor like Visual Studio Code, like Notepad++, if you want to use some other IDE in combination with this, feel free, that's fine. Now we need to go to msyf2.org and scroll down, click this download installer. It'll start downloading. I'm gonna cancel it because I've already got it and to save a bit of time. So if I go to my downloads folder, right there. And if I just double click that, this will install MSYS2. So you just click next, click next again. See, I've already got it, so it's not going to install it for me, but just click next. Once it's fully installed, it will give you an option to launch it up. You know, if you if it doesn't or you don't launch it up, you can just type in msys2 space m y msys, so like msys2. There's a few different ones. Just do the this one here, and then you'll launch this up. And then on the website, if you scroll down, it recommends a couple of commands to run. So run this command, which is pacman-syu. I'm just going to zoom in a bit so you can see. The S has to be uppercase. Click enter. And don't worry, you'll start synchronizing package databases and doing the rest of the stuff there we go. For you, it will probably take a little longer for the simple reason I already did this just before I started the video. When this pops up, press Y and enter. Again, press Y and enter. Each stage will most likely take longer for yourself because I did it before I started the video. If you scroll down on the web page, there's another command we can run. So when you run that command, it will actually shut this MS ys2 window down so if it does just launch it up again but because i had already run the command it didn't now you want to run this command so let me zoom in pacman space dash uppercase s lowercase u enter and again just wait patiently while it does its thing so this won't take too long and once this is done we can actually install vim not Vim, but it'll be part of it. It's always good to have. We'll be installing GCC, CMake, that sort of stuff. As you can see, I've already got it, hence why there was nothing for me to do. If it pops up, like proceed with installation, press, press Y, uh, type Y in, and press Enter. Obviously, you know, don't do it like that because it's no command. Now what we want to do, I'll clear it all. We can install what we need. So Pacman, space, dash, capital S, space, or lowercase now, space, dash d e v e l space g c c space vim space c make click enter and again we just gotta wait patiently for this and there's a bunch of different packages that can be installed with base dash d e v e l stuff for development and what we need is package two which is auto configuration and we need package 37 which is 
make. So we need to put the selection. So you put two comma 37, press Y and enter. And again, because I've already done this step just before the video, it's going to be a lot quicker for me, most likely. That's fine. Just, you know, just wait patiently. So for me, it's to start reinstalling it again. Uh, so it's, again, it's just reinstalling stuff. It's almost done now. And almost done. There we go. If I type in GCC, press enter, ignore the fatal error, but it has detected GCC. So you can either use GCC in here, or what we really want to do is be able to use it in command prompt. To do that, we can close this down and close this down. We can close this down as well. What you want to do? is just go to your computer system properties and go to advanced system settings you can always just search for it here and what you want to do is go to environment variables go to path edit click new but before we do that actually that's fine just click new and actually just go to browse and go to this PC, local disk C, select MSYS64, and then select MinGW64, unless you're really on a 32 bit system, then select 32, go to bin, and click OK, and he appears right there. Do the same thing again, go to browse, this PC, local disk C, MSYS64, 64 USR bin and click OK and he appears right there. Click OK, OK, OK. At this stage, you can reboot your computer. It helps sometimes. So if you go into command prompt and I just alt to do, do I mean increase the font size like 24. They actually want to increase the window size, just the font. So if I now type in GCC, no, sorry, GCC, you know, it works right here. If it doesn't just reboot your computer, you might be having that issue. Now we can actually, you know, compile some C code. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder on the desktop called test. app and in here I'm gonna put our C code so open up sublime I'm going to literally Google C sample hello world I will provide a link to this in the description and just copy and paste this generic C hello world code into here or your own code if you have some press control s save it in here just name it main.c, make sure it has the .c extension, click save, and doo -doo 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 -doo. there we go, it has now saved. So, if it doesn't appear, just click right click, refresh, and now what we can do is go to here, type in cd, space, drag and drop this folder on, click enter, and there we go, it's here. So to actually run the to compile our file, put gcc main.c, so it's gcc space main.c, and we can press enter. You'll pump out a file called a.exe, and if we double click that, and so it is just essentially shutting down. So we can do a.exe here, and as you can see, it shows it right there. So we have that running, and if you want to have a different name for the file, all you do, when you do gcc space main.c, press space, dash o, lowercase, space, then the name of the file, so I'm going to say 
hello play and there we go hello.exe so it's just shutting it down because you haven't you know put any pauses in the code that's fine but we can literally put hello there we go and it doesn't even need the dot exe part if you was to change the code you would need to run this command or basically the gcc command again to get a new executable so you can run it with the latest changes so that's how you install GCC on your Windows machine so you can compile C files in command prompt. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, also forgot to mention, there's a link in the description to the Discord group. There's programming channels in there. There's over three and a half thousand members with usually two to 300 members always online at any given time. So any questions, just pop in there. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.